Hi, this is Tina Hughes from builderwebsitetonight.com. In case anyone's had any difficulty downloading the backup once it's been completed, I thought I'd make a quick video just to show you what you need to do. After you've gone into your cPanel, and if you've followed this video, then the uh, process starts and you will receive an email when the backup has been completed. In the video, it's about two-thirds of the way through and you'll see a message that says full backup in progress. Once the full backup of your account has been completed, you'll receive an email message to the address which you've already specified. Okay, I'm in one of my websites now in the cPanel. So I'm just going to look for backup. And I do that by typing in the find field over here on the left. I've typed backup and then I'm presented with the backup wizard. So if I click on backup wizard, down here I click on the backup button. I'm going to click full backup. And it asks me where do I want it to go. Now I'm just going to send it to the home directory for the moment. That's fine and here I'll just leave that as one of my email names that's fine and then I'm going to click on generate backup now it says here once the full backup has been completed you'll receive an email and it will be sent to the email name that I specified so that's fine now if I go to my email account I'll be able to see how quickly that happens when I click on the go back button I can see a message here that tells me that the backup is in process. In pro uh, it's in progress, sorry. So I can see the name of the file. It's going to end in .tar.gz. It's got today's date and time. And it's telling me at the end here it's in progress. So as soon as that's finished, this part of the message will disappear. Now I can leave this screen open and just refresh it when I feel like it, or I can just go to my email account and have a look when that's done. So I will go and have a look at my email account. In my email account I am, have now been um, advised that this is completed so I'm going to refresh the page. On my Mac I'm doing that with Command R. On your PC you can do it with Control R for refresh. Now of course you can see that there's a, a little green check mark, a green tick to say that the backup has been completed. Now if I click on this link which is the actual file I get a dialog box that opens up and it says okay what do you want to do with this now I'm going to just save this to my desktop and that means that I will have a file on my computer that's called backup with the date and it says uh, the name of my file here so that I can put that into a folder and I know that that will be my backups then of course I can put that onto a flash drive a thumb drive and I can store that off the computer which is definitely the best way to go. Alright now I wouldn't be opening this up I would always be saving it. If I had have held down the control key on my computer before I clicked on the backup I would have been able to choose a destination so I'll show you that. I'm going to cancel this and here this time I'm, and I'm on a Mac at the moment so I'm holding down the control key I'm clicking on the file name and it says save link as so that's what I would be doing. I'd be selecting save link as and saving the file to a place on my computer. And then that's all I have to do. So uh, once you've done that, everything's fine and your backup is complete. You've got a copy on your computer and away you go. Okay, that's it for this quick message. I hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions, please do let me know. Cheerio for now. This is Tina Hughes from builderwebsitetonight.com. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.